Hey there, this is Brad from Elevar, and I wanted to walk you through some exciting updates that we've made to our Event Builder Chrome extension. So if you've used this in the past few months when we've had it in our beta period, uh, if you had an account that had quite a few G GTM accounts and ultimately you'd have that many more containers and workspaces, you may have run into some performance issues where it would take a while for this to initially load. Well, we fixed that issue, so even if you have 100 accounts or 1,000 accounts or just one account, Everyone's really going to have the same experience of configuring and selecting your container and then we'll walk through, or excuse me, your account and then we'll walk through so you can select the container, select your workspace, um, set your Google Analytics tracking ID and then once you save and sync, we're only actually pulling your variables from that particular workspace and adding it into your account. So just going through the event builder as it is today, you have three different ways to utilize it. Number one is you can create a click-based trigger. So you can just point and click anywhere on the site. So for example, if I wanted to track um, any of any clicks in the left navigation filter here on this collection page, I can just point and click. It'll automatically grab the CSS selector. And I'll say, I'll call this event name filter click with our event category of collection pages, filter, click, and you'll see you have your variables, in this case my variables, uh, access, accessible to me from uh, my GTM container. So I can select any variable to append to this. Um, this is one of the beauties of the extension is you don't necessarily need to tag every single little click or every single little text or image or whatever it might be. By selecting the largest container that's wrapped around the feature. So in this case, you can see the green box that's wrapped around the filter. So all of the filters, uh, any click in underneath that will automatically be tracked. So that's why I'm going to append a click uh, text filter. So I have my filter click and then this will uh, append a variable. So if someone clicked on lifestyle versus Jordan or running, those three would be appended here. So it'd be filter click dash lifestyle, filter click dash running, et cetera. Uh, finally, the selected pages. So in this case, I have the option to select what pages I want this to trigger on. So if filters are on potentially all pages or a large number of pages, I can leave this to all pages or I can change this to fire on a specific page only. I'm gonna leave this as all pages. And now let's go through and create one more. Uh, we have a visibility type of trigger. So let's say we wanted to add a visibility event, or you might call it an impression event, uh, based on a particular element being visible in the user's viewport. So let's just pick one out here and we'll say uh, our size options. So we just want to create an impression and potentially a click trigger so we can get a click through rate for the number of people that are clicking on size filters. I, have my visibility trigger selected here and we'll name this size filter impression and we'll do our select our collection pages and we'll do our size impression same thing we'll save the event and if i wanted to create the click based then i would just again select my area here size filter click Do our event category, size, filter, click. In this case, we'll do our click text for the variable, save. All right, so now I've created those two events. I have my GTM container. Um, you'll see we do not have the filter events created. Um, in our left panel here, you'll see I have the four events that I've created already, and these are marked with green, so they've already been imported into my GTM account. These are the three that I just created that are red. I'll go ahead and import events to GTM. So this will kick off the process. Uh, at the most, this will take 10 to 15 seconds to initiate the import process, and you'll see the import events will, uh, this will turn to green once the import process starts. And basically what we're doing is we are creating the Google Analytics tag and creating the Google Analytics trigger, importing them into your GTM account through the GTM API. And then the only thing that you would need to do from here is publish. So we do not publish anything directly. We are simply creating the tags for you inside of GTM in addition to the triggers. 
So these, let's take a look at the trigger that it created before. The trigger is automatically being created with the CSS selector that um, you point and click to grab, and then we're, we're entering any page URL rules that you have there. So let's just see how we're progressing. Okay, some of these tags and triggers have been created. So I'll refresh my page here. And now you can see, if I just sort here by the past few seconds, you can see that these tags and triggers have been created. And it's as simple as that. So if you manage multiple accounts and you wanted to now move on to another website, you can navigate to a new site, pop over here to your configuration settings, change your account, save and sync the workspace, and then you're off on your way tagging a brand new site. Really excited to hear your feedback on it. We are really going to continue to adapt and uh, make this even better. So if you have any suggestions, please send them our way. And uh, looking forward to hearing how your experience is in tagging your site.